Yo, 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 what is going on, IK Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today we are going to be talking about some interesting big things that have been announced as kind of a foreshadowing for what may be to come. And so I thought it'd be really cool to talk about a little bit of that. And of course, as always, before we get started, make sure you guys sub, like, ring the notification bell, and of course, if you want to join our conversation, hit up our Discord, which you can find in the pinned comment and description down below. Okay. So the first thing, and probably, well, I should say where we're going to start off from, is going to be from an in-game mail. This was actually sent a couple days ago, and it's interesting because no one was really talking about it. I thought, at least from what I saw in the IK Discord, I thought this was something that would get a little bit more play in discussions and conversations. So what it is, is a letter from Mr. Daniel, right, the man, the myth, the legend. And there was a few big things that are mentioned in here that kind of give you a, hey, this is what's to come. And I want to point out, right, that obviously the title of the mail doesn't really do it justice, right? It'd be cool if, like, for example, when you see the letter from Daniel, right, like if you see some of these other mails here, you can see it has, like, the title and then kind of, like, the beginning of the letter. It would be cool if they put, so, like, if he there was a subject line here, right, that said future updates or future things to come, right? Probably would have got a little more play, I would imagine. But let's go through some of it because it is some big stuff. And when I was reading through this, I thought this would be really cool to show off and cover. So, starting off. Uh, again, it says, I'm happy. Right past year, we've been gradually improving content. Uh, we've made so many unforgettable memories. Um, again, brainstorming world details, of course, fixing bugs late at night. Um, all this time, before we get to some of that, all this time we've been spent, I team has grown a lot tighter, more of a close-knit family. And then we get to... Here we go. And then it says, in the past year, we experienced many events in Norheim. Such as Battlefield, Tots, Zona Supreme, LOF, Legion of Frostborn, and more. <clears throat> each of them have represented a new stage. Okay, cool. Uh, and uh, there's a little secret, right? Each time we launch a new type of gameplay, the Infinity Kingdom Dev and Operations team are kept on the edge of their seats, right? Waiting for feedback. All of our changes optimizations are made because we wish our players <clears throat> will have a better experience. Now we get to some of what I think is the, is the really exciting stuff here, right? <clears throat> and it's pretty much here in this line. So we already have special plans for the future such as the very exciting GVG event, <clears throat> which, what is that? And, event, and, <clears throat> excuse me, the battle between Norheim's strongest lords and alliances. Sorry, what? These will be launched after the new year. In addition, the new auto chess gameplay is also under development, along with New Mysterious Immortals, new treasure hunt activities, and the combat training grounds. We hope you're as excited as we are for these updates. We welcome everyone to leave us a message in the IK studio letting us know. Okay, so first off, these are pretty big things. All right, let me break these down one by one. Let's start first off with the GVG event and battle between uh, and the battle between Norheim's strongest lords and alliances. So GVG could be something like a gnome versus gnome event, right? That's I think the ob most obvious thing that comes to mind. But maybe it stands for something else, right? I, again, I look GVG, I'm thinking, okay, gnome versus gnome, but what does that really mean? Maybe grounds versus grounds, maybe. I don't know, gyros versus gyros. I'm a little hungry right now. But still, who knows what that is. So again, and then the other part here, and I don't know if this is connected, right? Because again, it does say and, so I'm, I'm assuming potentially a different event. It says a battle between Norheim's strongest lords and alliances. So maybe they're going to come up with some kind of maybe fun internal event that you can do within your kingdom. And uh, maybe it'll be as a way to help you prep for KVKs, for SVSs, maybe for future game modes and events, uh, maybe even something to help prep for IB Illusion Battlefield. But it's interesting to see what they would do. I mean, you have Contention of Relics, right? But for the most part, in the majority of kingdoms that have some semblance of unification, usually you're just kind of doing a standard rotation. Everyone's just kind of taking a turn. You're not really battling or fighting it out, right? Much less like we saw in Server 97 when they were doing the Contention of Legends event. 
right? It was all centered around COR. Um, and again, also, if you're just in a, a kingdom where, you know, maybe you have an alliance that just wants to be number one, or you just have a bunch of rogues, and you're essentially dealing with that, and that kind of becomes your CO, part of your COR battleground. But it is interesting to see how they would do that in some kind of a way. Maybe, I mean, something that comes to mind for me would be like another game, another kingdom builder that kind of has like a prep a preparatory stage prior to KVK starting. And it is something where everyone in your kingdom kind of works together with as a way to prep for the upcoming KVK, also kind of giving you some small bonuses, right, depending on where your kingdom places. That actually would be pretty cool if they did something like that. I, I personally think it is a good feature and a good idea. However, maybe they could do something where, you know, maybe you balance it out. Maybe you're fighting for some cities, right, in this kind of limited uh, event, depending on or if it's something that will we'll cycle off of. Um, you know, maybe it could be, you know, maybe they expand on something like the uh, King of the Hill and, but except kind of do it server wide where it's more like specifically alliances versus alliances. Cause usually with King of the Hill, it's individual based. So maybe it's something like that where they'll come up with a new game mode. Again, just kind of brainstorming, but it is interesting that they mention this on what that could turn out to be. The next thing here is the new auto chess gameplay is also under development. Now, I don't know anyone here who's done any of the auto chess stuff. I mean, probably one of the most notable ones that I think I've messed around with was like the Dota one. I think League came out with one and then a few other games that are not Kingdom Builders, but they came out with auto chess games. And so it'll be interesting to see if it's going to be a way where you're going to have like a 5-on-5, five five, a 10-on-10 10 10 battle, right? Kind of on a hex map. And it's, you know, kind of on like a 20 by 20 hex grid and you just basically place like your 5 or 10 immortals on the map and you guys just basically auto chess battle it out. I actually think that could be fun. That could be cool, right? Even if it's a mini game within the game, right? It's kind of like its own thing outside of arena, but it's another ranking thing that you can do amongst players in your kingdom. Maybe it'll eventually be game wide. I actually think that could be pretty cool. Um, so we'll be excited to hear some more details on that. And then lastly, we get to a few others here, which is the new Mysterious Immortals, right? One of the ways you can kind of get early heads up on Immortals that are coming in, right, which has kind of been a wide known thing for a while, regardless of how many people may know, you can go into Mysterium and you can see Immortals that are basically getting like, I don't know if you even would call it being tested, but you can see them in opponent matchups or AI matchups um, in Mysterium before they're even released. And sometimes you can even... Pick the Immortal, right, for your team if you want to read or get a little bit of information, see how they play out in some of the matchups. So, okay, we're going to get more Mysterious Immortals, right? A new Treasure Hunt activities. So this is interesting because I wonder if this means that it's going to be similar to kind of Ruins, right? Because, again, I, I love, the thing I really like about Ruins is I like how you have to go out and look for them. Right, that was always one of the most exciting parts for me about Ruins. I actually thought that's how it would be when the Special Ruins came out, or if we want to call it the T4 Ruins. I actually thought that's what that would be too as well, right? Like you'd actually have to go out there and look for it. It wouldn't just be auto-given to you. And this is one of the things I really love about Kingdom Builders that give you options to go and do stuff, right? This is ways that you can kind of close that free-to-play to pay-to-win -to -to gap or spender gap where you give a lot of things to do where if you do everything you can keep up with like low mid spenders right and arguably if you grind harder maybe you can keep up with mid spenders maybe a little bit more than that um but but giving more opportunities for how free to play can participate like it's almost like you want to give enough stuff in the game to where if you're someone who plays like 16 hours a day in my opinion that should be rewarded right if you're doing all these things and you're grinding really hard because not everyone can do that right you're talking about like the one percent if not less than the one percent like the 0.01 percent so again i'm a big fan and have always been in favor of you know you give enough stuff to do or a lot of stuff to do to where it could fill out like a 16 hour day essentially right, with all the things you have to do, you can keep up with people who are spending if you put that time in, right, I'm a big fan of that, uh, and again, that's just because it's always going to be a small percentage, it's not like the majority of people are going to be able to do that, the next thing though, uh, right, is going to be, the, and this is the last thing, the combat training grounds, now this is something that I have an idea on just based on how it's worded, because something that has been asked for is a way to test out immortals, 
right? A way to test out matchups and comp matchups on how does this comp fare against this, right? Testing out support skill matchups, but just in a friendly environment so you can see how it plays out before you end up using it. Also, it can help you determine what support line your support skill line you're going to go, go use going forward what kind of immortal ma ma matchups position matchups on what side as well that you would use going forward just to give some ideas now if this is what that is i don't know but if it is what it is that could be really cool i think that could be a big game changer for testing new metas and eventually helping even new players figure out what is ideal and then allowing for the people who do spend or just have a lot of things unlocked really being able to kind of push the meta even more through just more efficient testing right where you're not really having to kind of you know, z you know take out someone's prosperity or if you're doing it on a tile whatever it may be you can do it in a friendly environment where you don't take any losses so if it turns out to be that that actually would be really cool and that pretty much leaves us at where we're at now, um, essentially. Uh, again, some some big things here that are coming, and this is really a teaser. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, again, you know, I, I think some of the biggest things here, I th some of this stuff is really interesting, just depending on what it actually will be. Uh, but as always, I'd love to know what you think, right? Let me know in the comments down below on each of the items, right? Do you have some hopes for some of these? Are you maybe excited to hear about these if you are hearing for the first time from watching this video? Uh, have you known about some of these things? Maybe you're someone who has some insight, right? I'd love to know anything and everything. Let me know down there in the comments below. And that is it for me. Until next time, as always, we will catch you later.